Well they welcome Ramsgate in their latest pre-season friendly as both sides battled it out for the Isle of Thanet Cup. And it was the visitors that had the first chance as Jordan Tudozi saw this header flash just wide of the Margate goal. Margate created their first chance in the 14th minute as Ben Greenhow nodded the ball down to James Bessis Aldana, who forced his way through before seeing his shot eventually fly over the bar. A beautiful ball out wide from former Margate striker Jordan Fudozi set Ramsgate down the right hand side with a trialist goalkeeper coming out to close the angle. The striker lifted the ball over him but passed the on rushing Ramsgate striker as the ball evaded the post as well. Margate skipper Ben Greenhill was collecting the ball in pockets in the Margate midfield and he was finding the ball out to Taylor Fisher on the right hand side. The Blues continued to work it between themselves before Fisher finally played a ball into Adam Topley whose long range effort went harmlessly wide of the right to goal. Both sides created half chances just moments before the break as firstly Ramsgate broke down the right hand side before the trialist goalkeeper came out to stop the attack and shortly after Margate whipped in a beautiful delivery themselves however it was well cleared by the Ramsgate defence as the referee blew for half time with the score still at 0-0. It didn't take Ramsgate long though to take the lead in the second half as a quickly taken free kick was worked down the right hand side before being put into the box, eventually being turned home by Margate striker Harvey Smith for an own goal to give the Rams a 1-0 lead. The Margate striker had a chance to make amends just four minutes later, however he saw this effort scuffed wide as Margate continued to look for that equalising goal. Margate seemed to have the bit between their teeth as several corners followed, including this one which eventually found its way to James Bessie Saldana, who saw his shot deflected wide for another Blues corner. Margate created more chances from another corner as this time Ben Greenhall went short to Adi Inca Cole who saw this curling effort just go inches over the Ramsgate goal. A long ball forward from the back found James Bessie Saldana who controlled the ball well before seeing his half volley go straight into the hands of Joe Bexon in the Ramsgate goal. Chidozi almost got his first of the afternoon as Ramsgate played some nice football down the right hand side before an over hit cross from the right found its way out to the left where another ball into the box was met by Chidozi who managed to glance his header just wide. The Rams did double their advantage on 65 minutes as a fantastic breakaway down the left hand side saw so the ball rolled perfectly into the box for Chidozi whose first shot was fantastically saved by the trialist goalkeeper only for the rebound to hit Chidozi's knee and roll into the Margate goal to give the Rams a 2 minute advantage. The visitors were reduced to 10 men on 68 minutes as this awful challenge from Callum Emptage on Peter Osman resulted in the referee branching a red card and Ramsgate were down to 10 men. Margate's most likely source of a goal looked like being from a set piece as another corner was flung into the box, this time headed over by trialist number two. Trying to make the most of their one-man advantage, Margate continued to press forward as a long ball down the right released Troy Howard, who saw the easy effort go narrowly wide of the Ramsgate post. Just minutes later though, and Margate were off down the right-hand side again, this time with Troy Howard deciding to roll the ball back to James Bessie Saldana, whose sweet strike across the goal beat Bexon into the net as Margate reduced the arrears to 2-1. A beautiful strike from Bessie Saldana across the goal into the far side of the net. Margot felt they should have had a penalty in the 90th minute as Montreal Deslandes was flung to the floor by a Ramsgate defender only for the referee to wave play on. Unfortunately the decision from the referee led to a heated discussion between both sets of players eventually with Montreal Deslandes and Ramsgate Jamie Coyle being sent from the field of play. 
There was to be no last gasp drama for Margate as Ramsgate went on to lift the Isle of Thanet Cup for the 2022-2023 season with a 2-1 victory at Parkstown Park. 